Hey guys, Move Professor, and today I'll be doing a review on the Back to the Future saga. People say one of the best sagas of all time. I think it is by Robert Zemeckis, not one of the best of all time. But it's a good saga. I enjoyed it. So um, I already did a review on Back to the Future. You can check that out if you want. Uh, you can, it can be located in favorite movies and also the most monumental movies of all time. But, uh, yeah, I'll be reviewing all three of the movies because I will never make reviews for the other two because, yeah. But, um, so, Back to the Future, Robert Zemeckis, 1985 film, and Steven Spielberg. This is the only one made by Steven Spielberg. So, um, yeah, stuff I liked about it was the music, Alan Silvestri is a boss, along with Hans Zimmer, Don Williams. Yeah, typical people, but, um... Michael J. Fox also did really well. And, um, yeah, he, he's he been in a couple other movies. He, he hasn't actually been in, like, a lot of movies that I've seen. Like, Teen Wolf and Mars Attacks, really, that's all. But, um, yeah, he's, uh, he did fine in his job. He was a smart choice for the movie. And then the effects. The effects were, like, huge for this time. It's like, oh, my God, they were able to make fake fire that goes, ye and yeah, that kind of made any of John Flasker say it feel weird. Yeah, because that one plane scene where they go through the tunnel and the plane's on fire and they had somebody in it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, the only thing I didn't like Leah Thompson. I thought she was she was really stupid in this movie. She would walk around and she'd be like, "Hey, Marty!" Like I know that's kind of a part just annoyed me though like i'm not saying she did bad she's a good actor herself but um well she's not a bad actor yet they can film so kind of wonderful she did great in that but um otherwise though like this film like just her role was not the best could she could use somebody else because yeah but on um, back to the future one of my favorite films gave it a 97 so, um, yeah, let's move on to Back to the Future, Part 2. This is the worst one in the film series, I think. But, um, yeah, so stuff I liked about it, the uh, editing. This one was really heavy on effects because they had to make cars float and hoverboards and all that. It was They did a really good job on the editing, actually. And then stage work, too, because the town, I think, was in a stage or no, it was... No, it was in New York Street, Universal Studios back lot. But, like, yeah, otherwise, though, like, the the part where they jumped off the building, I think, was in a stage, though. That was nice. It looked real. And then acting in this film was really good. And then writing, I didn't really like. Like, the storyline was weird. Like, it made sense, just, like, how they made it. It was like, it's like, oh, they go to the future, try to stop Marty's kid from getting in trouble, and then making a whole jailbird family. And then, um... And then, yeah, then a guy steals the car and makes him rich. Yeah, it just didn't really. Like, it, like it was a good story. Like, the idea was good. It's just with how they did it. That was really weird. Yeah, but, um, and it just wasn't really that fun, I thought. Like, yeah, it was good. It was more of, like, a teaching lesson because they're like, oh, he went back in time song about that but he went back in time and went to um oh like 1984 or 1985 when the night of the dance that he went to and saying trying to be good and then yeah you know, he messed stuff up there so now he can't go back to the future yeah. whatever it, it just felt like a school lesson but i gave this film an 85 percent wasn't that bad but still let's move on to back to the future part three second best i think obviously so, um, yeah, the, so the story was really great. The story was great, I thought. Oh, yeah, he got struck by lightning, then he went, well, it was a little weird, though, how he got struck by lightning, then he had to go back to, like, a time where his family wasn't even in Hill Valley. Whatever. But I'm um, still, like, it wasn't, like, the, like, Biff, Grandpa, Great, 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 and whatever. Uh, he, he did really good, actually, I thought. But, um, acting was really good, too, just besides one person, Claire. I didn't like her actor. She didn't 
portray that um, job really well. But then, um, the score was also really great. Surprise, surprise, Alan Silverstreet. Yeah, and um, yeah, I already said the thing I didn't really like, which that was Claire. And so I gave this movie a 92%. I am a fan of the Back to the Future films. Yeah, yeah. I'm all right. Here, boom. 25th anniversary trilogy. Boom. It's not in the best condition, but whatever. That's great. And it's Back to the Future 3! Yeah, the bonus material, that junk. But, um, yeah, it was a... Yeah, Back to the Future is a great film, I think. It's... I had a huge obs uh, obsession on it. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and, uh, yep.